Welcome back, Carbo Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? Uh, Lost Cavern's an excellent set booster. Everybody's been asking me to open some more of this, so I'm going to open some more. This is a really good set. I know, so yesterday's news, but there's still so many good cards that are really hitting hard and standard and modern, all that right now. Commander, I mean, just pretty much every format. New vintage, we got Mana Crypts in here. And cavernous souls and stuff. So hopefully we'll actually find the mana crypt in here. That'd be awesome. And there's a box topper, which could also have something good. Usually not, but hey, it could. There's a possibility. So we're gonna open some more. Lost Cavern to Ixalan. Been selling through the singles really good at the store. I am gonna have to open a little bit more Crawlout Manor while we're waiting for Outlaws to come out because uh, that's another one that we're selling a lot of singles of at the store. Um, and it's funny because it's like the commons and uncommons that are doing the best. Uh, but there is some good rares some uh, that aren't super expensive or anything, but just seeing a lot of play right now. Uh, there is a lot of good cards in Carlisle Manor, so. Um, here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, all tabs. All tabs. There. Let's see what we get. Dino, Sage of Days, and Hulking Raptor. Oh, and there's our, one of our, uh, Jurassic World cards. Oh, Miss a line here. Uh, for a planes. And the rest of it's not too exciting. All right. What else? Oh, gorgeous island. And the art cards nobody cares about. But yet they keep making them. They keep forcing them down our throats, even though we made it very clear that we don't want them. Map token. Oh, Restless Prairie Foil. That's a good one. And Subterranean Shooter. Oh, and a Roaming Throne. Oh, that pack. The shooter, not so much, but Restless Prairie and the Roaming Throne. We'll put that up in the cool guy pile. Uh, should we keep track of the lands? Eh, probably not. They're not that exciting, but they are They are good lands. They are seeing a lot of play, so. Especially in standard. All right. And a foil. And art card. Nobody wants the art cards, but here we are. Keep getting them. Merfolk. Merfolk. Unstable good bridge, that's a good rare. Uh, seeing a little bit of play. But there is, oh, we're not even looking for the good commons. Oops. Planes, gorgeous planes. Did we, did we get any yet? Any of the big ones yet? Nothing? No? There is some good commons, uncommons in the set. Oh, here's our first list card Rick's Matty Dungeon Palace from Commander 2019. Uh, Triumphant Chomp is a uh, common seeing a lot of play. Hey, Growing Rates, there's a good rare. And the Siren seeing a lot of play. Spyglass, good card. All right. Well, oh, Poison Dart Frog, there you go. There's one of the commons that sells like crazy at the store. And our card. Come on, Mana Crypts and Caverns. Let's see ya. Tokens. Uh, ancient one for our first mythic. Yeah, not the mythic we were hoping to find, but you know, scouts seen a lot of play as well. Uh, there's definitely some really, really good playable cards that are going to find their way into a lot of formats, not just standard and pioneer modern. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Got a Abu, Restless Vince. Like I said, the lands are doing good too. So people are liking the lands. And a gorgeous man. And Arkard. But that roaming throne, that's a that's gonna be a commander staple, I think, for a long time. <laughs> Inti, another commander staple. That's a that's a big one. Uh been selling a lot of those, so that's a good one. And then our Jurassic World land. And what else are we gonna oh this common, uncommon. Commons are for the uncommon thing again. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right. So what do we got? Nothing. We got nothing. Got another pack like the one that had the throne in it. That's pretty nice. Restless Ruse Line. Hey, and a Testaronis Tide Binder. That's a good one. We'll put that in the cool guy pile too. All right. So, you asked for another pack like that? We got kind of another pack like that. <laughs> good land and a good prayer. All right, we're not complaining now, but we will in two packs. You watch, we'll start complaining again. We just always do. That's just how we do it. 
uh, Four Bears Blade from Dominaria for our next list card. Evangelist. That one sees a little bit of play. Um, Splunking. That one sees a lot of play. Lore Keeper. And Pretty Plains. All right. Last pack of stack number one. Stuff's falling over already. We're knocking stuff over already. Oh, jeez. Card on the ground. Hopefully it wasn't anything good. Fortifying Provisions from Throne of All Drain for our next World List List card. The Belligerent. And... Oh, a lot of uncommons. Too bad none of them were really good. And the cave. Caves are a thing, I guess. A little bit. Sometimes. Some people use them. Not many. Breaches. So now that we've got a little bit of time to look back at this set, what are you guys thinking about it? Uh, are you impressed by it still? Do you think it's blah? I don't know. Let me know. Paleontologist sees a lot of play. Appraiser sees a ton of play. That's probably one of the better uncommons from the set. Well, land and art card. Oh, we did get a signed art card. I guess I didn't see it. I just now saw it in the reflection there. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the art cards, even if there's a signature. Nobody wanted them. We'd rather have a token. But watch his force them down our throat still in the play booster boxes. Gee, thanks. Get lost. That one is a lot of play right now. Uh, get lost is seeing tons of modern, pioneer, and standard play. It's a really good removal card. So uh, that one's possibly one of the top removal cards on white right now. Just so you know. I'm sure you already knew. You're like, ah, oh, that's so old news. This whole set, I mean, it just came out a few months ago, but we're already bored of it because, you know, Magic tells us we need something new every week. Citadel. And... Nothing else exciting in there. Hmm. Gorgeous Forest. And yeah, another art card. All right, we're about halfway through the box. We've only got one mythic. One! And it's not even a good one. It's the Ancient One. Over there by himself. Treasure map. Command Tower. And, uh, oh, Ch Chomp is good. Chomp's seeing a lot of work. Um, what do we got? And that's it. All right. Where's the beef? What's going on here? A War of the Spark common that nobody cares about. Okay. Bring her the last gift. It's been a while since we've seen a dull rare pack. What's happening here? Okay. Um, I'm not feeling this box. This box is letting me down. This has so far been a pretty weak box. Got a couple good rares. That's it. Finally, a second mythic. And it's okay. Enigma Jewel. It's nothing nothing great. Nothing really right home to mom about, if you know what I mean. There. Um, we could use a little bit more spicy stuff to wake us up here because we're falling asleep. It's a long day of work. And Galta. Okay. Decent. Rest of Spence, full art. But still, uh, Galta has come down a lot. Galta was a pricey card when this set came out. But. This reprint has knocked it down pretty well. <laughs> the hammer skull. And yeah. Nothing exciting. So, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> we'll talk about you guys. Clock of Omens from M13. Trumpeting Cars are. Now, there's one that's in those uh, standard dino decks. Doing pretty good. Aside from that, not much in there. All right. Oh, signed art card. Because we care. I care. Don't you care? No? You don't care? All right. Oh, I was being sarcastic? Oh, I guess I was. All right. Vito. Not the best Vito, but he's still a Vito. Vito's fun. All right. What do we got? Anything? Nothing? Oh, well, that's interesting. Said no one ever. Come on, where's a big hit? 
We need a big mythic. Terror Tide and Larcenous. Neither of those was a big mythic. A braid. Oh, that one's been reprinted into the ground, hasn't it? Oh, we got a signed Tidebinder art card. So colorful. Wait, that's not Tidebinder. What is that? That's not the same art. Oh, Roar of the Fifth People. Okay. So, we barely change the art between two cards in the same set now. That's what's going on? Okay, makes sense. Poetic Ingenuity. Interesting. I thought that was the Tide Binder the whole time. Hmm. Weird. I don't even know if I've seen that other one. Gishath for another Mythic. War in the Inner Sky. Admiral Brass for a second Mythic in the same pack. Unfortunately, not really all that exciting. The Gishath is still, I think, a few bucks up there. But, again, not as big as it was when the set <laughs> dropped. Oh, Lord of Atlantis for a special guest card. So there's that. And the Paladin. Wow. Looking a little weak on this box. Gotta tell you. Alright, what do we got? Five packs left? Five more packs of disappointment, huh? At this point, we're up to six mythics. I don't know if we're going to get any much more. Far Traveler. Deeper Pilgrimage. That one's got an infinite combo and standard that Wizards themselves is putting on their homepage. Because they don't think it's a problem. <laughs> putting infinite combos in standard, apparently. We're like, no, it's good. We'll keep doing that. The Favor. Sees a little bit of play. Final Strike. Sees some play. Dirt Rock. Bean crack. All right. Um... A couple more packs, and we'll open the box topper. But I don't think we're getting our money back in this box. Eh, just like they get the Smitty and the Kellen. A couple good cards, seeing some play, but not big money cards. Okay. So let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this set now that we've had a little time to reflect back on it. Anchorage. And that's about it. I think overall, it's a really good set. Um, boxes can be pretty hit or miss. Uh, the collector's boxes were definitely a lot better, but those are kind of gone. Hard to find now. Uh, treasure. The Matzo Meatball. Hey, Blood Letter of Eclizots. That one was really popular at first, but it's kind of calmed down a little now. Still a lot of Commander players putting it on their deck list, though. Seeing a lot of those still come across, but not like it was when it first came out. When it first came out, I couldn't keep them in stock. <laughs> Last pack, Preacher of the Schism, and, oh, Micro Tyrant. That was another one that when this set first came out, everybody wanted to build a Micro Tyrant uh, Commander deck. Uh, it's calmed down quite a bit, but it's still a still popular card. He's just not that expensive, which is kind of funny. The scout again, scavenger, and anything back here? Nope, a planes. We got a planes. All right, let's see what our box topper is, and then we'll do a little recap here. Um, looks like all our money was in the rares, pretty much. <laughs> we got Gishath and the Galta, but like I said they're not like they were when the set came out, as far as value goes. All right, what's it going to be? Uncommon? It's uncommon. Oh, starting like a resonator. It's a rare. Unfortunately, one that's been printed too much recently. Uh, was a really valuable card, but it's dropped a lot lately. But still, pretty card. Um, so we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mythics. Uh, the Blood Letter and the Gishath probably being the big ones. The Galta and the Micro Tyrant and the Enigma Jewel being worth a few bucks a piece, but nothing huge. Uh, I think our biggest money was in the rare slot, the Roaming Throne and the Tide Binder. Unfortunately, we didn't double tap either one to make up for the lack of mythics. Uh, we got our far trailer from Baldur's Gate there. We got a Lord of Atlantis. And all our Jurassic World cards, all three of them were lands, so that's weak. Um, and not even a forest. The forest, at least, is worth a bunch of money, but for a, for a forest, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six list cards. Only one rare. A Forebear's Blade. Nothing exciting. Uh, yeah, nothing exciting at all. I think 
I mean, clock of omens might be the only one over a dollar, probably, and not bulk. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to click some of the links in that description. It really helps out the channel, helps you guys out. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one.